Welcome to Dana One Fire, right here on High TV, your luxury channel. We are checking out um, this amazing place. We all know about it, Love Bar. If you don't break the love and the bar, it sounds really <laughs> bad when you say it. It's, it sounds really Love Bar. <laughs> Have you, have you ever thought of it that way? No, Danu. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's Labba. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Sasala is our guest for today. Thank you for joining me. Thank You're you. You're looking for fabulous. Thank so, you these so toned much. arms come from. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not the shaking. It's not the shaking, it's the yoga. Ah. Yeah. But shaking also provides that, right? Yeah, helps yeah. a little. So you were someone who was doing all of these magic for your friends at home, is it? Something like that. That's how. Well, Did you ever? You never thought of going public with it? No, not at all. Just. Yeah, this was during the lockdown. Yeah, doing. I mean, everyone started growing plants and. Exactly. Yeah, I also did that. I did the kangkung. Uh, I also grew. <laughs> like, I don't know what I grew. Something. Uh, chili, did, chili. Uh, okay, I did the kangkung. Yeah, but when the uh, gates opened again, the chili died. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so at that time only this whole thing it was just by chance. Okay. Yeah, so I was actually trying to prolong the home bar. And then I thought, okay, let's make some cocktails. So right. then, you know, so I'm not a big cocktail fan. I know, surprising. But this is how it, and I never thought it would come to this stage. Yeah, like people wanting you. <laughs> wanting me. I, I think there's so much more than just the cocktail. I think you look fabulous. The full package oh. is put together right. Like, you know, I can sit and make a cocktail. They'll be like, mm, <laughs> yeah, I'm piano. <laughs> so it's one of no, those. But it's yeah. also, it's a nice experience because I think Sri Lanka, I think it's a, for me, it's a niche market as well. Something unique. And um, yeah, it's fun. And so, I enjoy it. So, how did people start getting to know about it? Were you putting it on Insta? Yeah, social media. My God, it's it's so all. You put to your do first one out there. Yeah. So, because I'm a big, I I love taking photographs. Right? right. You can ask anyone who knows me from like back in the day. It was before Instagram, before yeah. Facebook. Where we flipped the camera to take a selfie. Yeah. And yeah. no, before I used to carry this Sony Cyber Shot. Oh, you know, wow. all over the place right, since right. I was about, I think, 15, 16. Right. And then only it was after that, it was always me developing the pictures and having al albums and all oh, that. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then it evolved to High Five. I don't know whether you remember that this. That was High Five before Facebook. Yes. Yeah. So that's why I said it's I only for pictures. I was never on it because I was underage. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. It was, only <laughs> it was only for pictures. Yeah. You can upload your albums and share with your friends. Yeah. And then came Facebook. And then I remember, I, I remember how somebody, one of my good friends, Shetaka, he's the one who introduced me to mm. Facebook when we were in Malaysia on a trip once. And then Instagram. So then when I was doing this at home, I anyway take pictures, right? So it was going on my profile. And my friends were like, wow, that's nice. You started mm. doing this. I said, yeah. Then we were during the lockdown, so no one could come home. Yeah, so you just... So I was just, uh, yeah, <laughs> when we were having our meeting, <laughs> I was like, cheers. Yes, yes. <laughs> Zoom call, yeah, I just made this right now. Yeah, actually, so... Yeah, you, so you were literally flying high during... <laughs> mm, no, Danu. Uh, it was just maybe one one, one cocktail, maybe in two day. days. To, yeah. yeah, two days. Well done, well done. So I'm here to try this. This is the mocktail version of the cocktail. Yes, that's a strawberry smash. Sorry about the strawberry. It kind of fell apart while I, I was know, trying to like make it. The, the earlier one where she did the dummy, she gave me one full strawberry. I know, this is, <laughs> this I, I forgot and I put all the strawberries uh, in there and then we ran this out. One, I'm like, oh. Just see how that is. It's amazing, I'm sure, um, I'm sure when you put the spirits in, it's just okay, going to so be. Okay, cheers. Ah, sorry. cheers, I don't know why I tried it first. <laughs> it's okay, cheers. cheers. To good You're life. You're supposed to always, yeah. you know, change I know, share it with mm -hmm. someone, the moment. <clears throat> so, uh, you have now stepped out of just being on Instagram. Where did the first request come from? Well, that's from one of my really close friends. So um, she has a restaurant and a bar. So then she invited me um, to come and do a ladies' night mm. there. So then we sent out invites. And then um, that's how it all started. I had a first event there. Then that was in September 2020. Oh, that's a long time ago. Yeah, what? September. But then we went to the third lockdown or the fourth again. lockdown yeah. by December. Oh, no, second lockdown in October or something. Then while we were in the lockdown, um, one of the corporate Cisco labs, mm. they contacted me to do a virtual cocktail demonstration. Oh wow, for their staff. For their staff. Oh. And you know, because that was more of a staff engagement initiative. Right. And then I also loved the idea and we worked towards it and I got a team of uh, like they want to go live on Teams. 
so then I didn't know how to do that because mm. I was at home and I That's didn't That's a lot know. of work now. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So then I um, got a team over to my place, one of my friends now, his timeline production. So then they were the ones who were recording it, right. did a uh, t um, Teams meeting. Right. With, I had about 84 participants from uh, Cisco. Wow, that's yeah, amazing. it was like a demonstration, so you do it on the go. So they either make it with me or they take notes or right, whatever. Right, right. It's like a cookery demonstration. Yeah, but it's so like a fun version of it. Yes. And so it's kind of nice that they thought so out of the box. Exactly. Yeah. I always thought, I, rec I mean, I told uh, there was a lady who was uh, talking to me. Uh, so then I told her, you guys are amazing because you all thought of an initiative where your staff is engaged from home. Yeah. Something creative. And something fun, like they've never, never like without yeah. giving lecture on, lecture on, you know, let's build humanity within this organization. <laughs> let's see how you can be a successful person. These kind of things leaves yeah. like a good memory in them, That's right? True. Just to have some fun. Yeah, so that was the start. So then from there I evolved and so then. So that was 2020. So it all broke through. 2020. Yeah. If not for COVID, you might have never even checked this yeah, side out. This is just, I know, it just, I mean, even now, I don't know because it's evolves, right? Yeah. It's like. But some were you anyway someone who used to do the cocktails and mocktails or no? No, nothing. I'm not yeah. a cocktail fan. I'm more of a wine drinker oh, or a wow. scotch or not cocktails. This is like just destiny that had to happen. Is it? Yeah. yeah because I was in corporate. But you're right? having a lot of fun with it though. Yeah, very yeah. much. Because I was in corporate, because that's what, you know, when I was a teenager when I was doing my education it's like okay I want to go and join this company I want to go and join this conglomerate I want to be an HR professional so I had a path right and I did that and I did it for 15 years and then this happened the COVID happened and then this is all and by giving chance. a new new zest to life exactly. it's always fun all right we're going to speak more of course mm -hmm. with Sasla about who is she what she does you might have seen her at all these events these days there are a lot of videos circulating with all the work she has done. Yeah. We'll speak more when we do come back. This is Ramon. Uh. Welcome back to the show. We are talking to this lady who has a brand name called Cocktails with Valerie. Correct. That's correct. Valerie. You know that yeah, song? Yeah, of yeah. course. Amy Winehouse. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, let's speak about what's his name? Valerie. Where did the, where are you, Valerie? <laughs> well, that's a very, very interesting story. Okay. So, uh, just before the lockdown, a couple of my friends were doing this thing called a, a Valerie Drive. It's a car boot set. It's like a pop-up. Right, okay. So, it was their initiative who used to work with me at uh, Walker Stewart's at okay. John Keels. And um, so they asked me one day, okay, can you, we, we're looking for vendors. Okay, can you also take part? I said, what can I do? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not what can I sell? Can I yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. They're like drinks because they know I like a nice yeah. drink. So I said, uh, okay, but then we can't just sell drinks in a public place, right? Correct. Alcohol, prohibited. Out. Out. Yeah. Out. Yeah, so, so then they're like... Restrictions, no man? Yes. So yeah. they're like, okay, then uh, come up with some mocktails. Mm. So I, I was like, okay, fine. I'll look it up, I'll some, do some googling, I'll look it up and then um, they said okay come up with a name quickly because we want to put it in our social media and promote this mm. whole thing. So I said oh, okay and I couldn't come up with a name. So then one day prior they were advertising it or whatever mm. and I said okay so call it uh, Mocktails with Valerie because your thing is Valerie Drive. Mm. Right? So then it started with Mocktails with Valerie. So then and I... And then you just made the mock into cock. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that oh. <laughs> so, I, I never meant it that I way. I know, I know. <laughs> Okay, yes. so, so that uh, happened during the lockdown. <laughs> right, yeah. so that's how this... <laughs> that's okay. how the Valerie came about. Right, so Cocktail with Valerie started. So Valerie is nowhere close to your name, nothing. Nothing, but funnily, my second name is a V, starts with V. So what is it? It's Sasala Valerie. Valerie. <laughs> this one <I> <laughs> That's what is it? No, no, no. Tell it. Okay, cheers, Anu. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, nothing wrong with Varuni. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's not. Binagiri. <laughs> Tell me, Liu. I, no one knows it. That's what I want to okay. know. Mm. Mm. Okay. So, <laughs> shall I? <laughs> what is your middle you, name? <laughs> uh, my middle name is Olida. My first name is Savio. Oh, Savio. Mm. That's nice. Thanks. Savio. Sav I can do mocktails with Savio. 
That's a very nice I, name. It's very. You, yeah. That's a nice ring to it's it. It's Italian, I'm told. Well, yeah. it was. I don't know. My grand uncle was in Italy. I don't know why we are talking about me, but please tell but me. But that's interesting. So I your name know. is not as interesting as Savia. No. Let's get to this. Okay. <laughs> one day, one day, <laughs> one day. But uh, anyway, I might need your ID details for this show to go on air. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. <laughs> okay. So anyway, we're coming back to this whole cocktail process. Yes. Um, how do you get inspired? Like, you know, they put like 100 things on the side, they put like feathers. Garnishes. And, and, yeah. Yeah, this is a Mine garnish. is quite uh, I know. plain. You had thing. a garnish before. Yeah. Remember the strawberry? Because I ate everything. <laughs> <laughs> I ate the garnish. Um, well, how I get inspired is um, I have a page, an uh, Insta handle called Cocktails yes. with Valerie. And it has everything, by the way. If you want to do it at home, yes. just read it and you can do it. Exactly. So every cocktail that I make, most of the cocktails which I practice at you home. You should do a book. Somebody else told me, because I like cooking as well. So, so put everything I should together. do a pairing, food, yes. but I like Sri Lankan cooking. I'm oh, good at Sri Lankan cooking. imagine like cocktail with a nice kirikos curry. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. but anyway, coming back. Yeah. Coming back. So how Maybe do it's you... on with the Arak cocktail. Ah, yes, true. Hmm. Okay, tell me, tell me. Hmm. Yeah. You can pair you can pair cocktails with any Anything. kind of yeah, because you have different flavours, right? So what are the ingredients that you use? How do you like sort of create So this mostly wine? so again, mo what I believe in is for a good cocktail, it has to be fresh ingredients. Right. Okay, so I hardly use, I always tell this you want a good cocktail don't use anything off a carton you know it has to be freshly squeezed lime juice orange juice pineapple juice whatever if you're using juices use, use the fresh it, one yeah because that gives the proper taste the balance everything um, so that's one of the things because I how I came to that was during the lockdown because we didn't have this lockdown anything. has been the milestone it of your is, life. It is because it actually made us more independent, not Correct. dependable. Because we were like, okay, like I said this before, so when I didn't have lime at home, mm. so it was every cocktail has more or less lime, lime. in it, you know, 10 ml or 15 ml yeah. of lime. So I used naran because I had a naran tree, tree at home. Yeah. So you can substitute, you know, to local yeah. ingredients, which is what I love. So when I couldn't find oranges, I used panidoda mm. because the trucks used to come with yes, all the yes, local true, produce, true, 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 right? True. And I used to love it. And you know, those days it was the lorries that came and I used to run out mm. and buy the pineapple and the watermelon because watermelon was also very popular. Yeah. So all my, if you look at my Insta handle, it's all of fruits, like Based, fresh, yeah, fresh fruits. So much, yeah. And that's how I started because I didn't have the bitters at home. Mm. I didn't know how to make a sugar syrup. Right. I, I just had the alcohol at yeah. home. <laughs> right, so, um, but then now, of course. Now you are an export. Um, yeah. Still learning. Every Have you day. come up with your own concoctions and named it? Yeah, well, when it comes to cocktails, you can name it if you, uh, when you say when you come up with your own thing, like a craft cocktail, you can name it the way you want. So the classics are the martinis, yeah. the mojitos, and those are the classics, and that's great because yeah. everyone knows how, and there's a recipe for that. But you can. You know, fine Jazz tune it, it, you can tweak it a little and then make it your own. Mm. And once you keep doing it, you learn what goes well with what sort of a, like when it comes to rum, like like sweet drinks, like tropical drinks. You use a lot of uh, rum, mm. white rum or red rum. But when like gin and all, you use it a very little in cocktails. Mm. But tequila, vodka, vodka is a good you, pairing. Yeah, it's just there always. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, before we get into a break, I just want to remind you, food is coming away from Kamimaki. So we'd love to give them some love. Uh, thank you so very much. We're excited to have your food here as well. Uh, so we are at the Love Bar. We'll see you on the other side. Just stick around. It's coming. So I got to know her second name. But I won't say it. Yes, you promised. I promised. But if you know the answer, all you have to do is just comment <laughs> below. <laughs> no. no one will comment. <laughs> okay, so, um, okay, we're having banana fritters. I really thought they were like... Fish like, fingers? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I really thought they might be with fish I, um, With ice cream. You never know, there are all types of combinations. Yeah. Now, we know about you, your inspiration, all of this. When you were growing up, what did you want to be? So, 
that's why I wanted to become an HR professional because oh. my father is an HR professional. Right, right. So I wanted to I learn HR. Like HR. Really? People are quiet. They have always fought with me in every <laughs> HR in every company I work in. I've always had teeth. Oh, no, I, I you, enjoyed it. You were one it. of those kind ones, no? Ask I'm, me. I'm not kind. Ah, nice to know. <laughs> not that kind, <laughs> but it depends. Ah, right, right. Depends on Good the... that you left your corporate field. <laughs> yeah, actually. <laughs> actually this one was... HR left. <laughs> <laughs> After 15 years. Yeah. But did you sort of scare, were you worried about the decision, especially during COVID? Mm, no, it happened before that. Yeah, that's what. But during COVID, you were, were you like... Mm -hmm. uh, no, so I already had a plan of what I wanted to do. Right. So, but then it was getting prolonged because mm. of COVID. Because I wanted to do agriculture, because I wanted to go into tea plantation and no do a way, bit of really? tourism. Yeah, because uh, my father, we are from Gaul, right. the Gamma, so we have now a how small... To plant? Well, started it. Ah, I started ah, it, yeah, because we had to do the soil rehabilitation. So right. I started doing all that, and because I wanted to get into, um, like, we have a small, like, uh, we have two houses there. So I wanted to get into tourism through that. Yeah, right. But okay. then all yeah. these things happen. It has just. Will the tree will grow. It <laughs> will, yeah. and then of course this keeps me busy. That is true. And which I enjoy. Do you have you done tea cocktails? I have done it with uh, one of the tea companies. Uh, that was the first time that was a learning for me as well so i learned it and i um, well, you can incorporate with your tea brand as well exactly that's the plan <laughs> uh, let's speak a little bit about in today's context uh lots of things are happening in sri lanka yeah. what do you think about it that's a few <laughs> i didn't expect that question <laughs> okay <laughs> well um i always i always have hope Mm. There's always hope and I think we are going to be okay. We just have to be strong and we are Positive. Sri Lanka, yeah. of course. And we have to support each other. That's mm. what I believe because, okay, so I'm just telling you, Danu, even yesterday I was going to have an event, right? And I postponed it about one and a half weeks ago when all this is happening and I decided with the, uh, the people that I was going to have this event with. It was a ladies' night, bar takeover. And I postponed and I wrote to the ladies who I've already invited. And most of them actually, they came back and they're like, why are you doing this, Asala? We need to keep going. We need Correct. to keep encouraging, you know, because people, everyone needs to be a part of it because there are, you know, the waiters, the barman, the restaurants. The exactly. exactly. It's their livelihood. So if one of us steps down, down, the or, chain is going to break. Exactly. So I think we need to continue doing that. And we need to do the other side as well by help whoever. You don't have to do charity, charity, charity. I don't believe in that. I believe in helping even my neighbor or even my whoever needs. You know, it can be your immediate, even your friend might need a little bit of assistance. You might, you know, help that person. You don't need to go out and find the, you know, somebody else out there. Yeah. But when you, uh, everyone has a need and if we can... Exactly. Somebody, somebody who is close to you. Okay. Somebody you know who needs help. Because... Especially certain people, they won't come out and say, I need help. Hmm. But when you know they're struggling, try to assist in some way. Uh, as someone who has done a lot of bar takeovers, especially for the ladies, mm -hmm. there's a lot of women empowerment groups out there, a lot of women supporting women. Yeah. But sometimes the plot goes a bit wrong. What is your take on how we need to approach women's problems and how it could be solved? Maybe from a corporate point of view, as we've been there for a long time. Yeah, so... This I, is my very smart question. Okay? I know, I know, I understand. That's <laughs> good because what I believe is um, sometimes it's sometimes okay, not all the time. It's we create that within ourselves as well. We think okay, now when it when it comes to me, when I'm a mixologist now, uh, a lot of people ask. It's a male-dominated industry, right? Is it? And you, are you you know are they harassing you? Are mm. they saying stuff to you? I'm like no, these people are the most respectful, and they're supportive people. Right, and when I go and I work with them, I go. So before I do a bar take, I go a couple like of times. Yeah. yeah, and they are so supportive, and they also like it. They mm. like somebody coming, you know. So there's, you know, we think of gender bias and all that, but it's up to us to also break the barriers. And I think create the platform. Exactly. Yeah. We can't always wait for somebody else to do it for us. Mm. I always believe in you doing it for yourself. So, and I think even corporates also, I mean, there's so many lady bosses, so many women are doing so well. They're breaking the glass ceiling, yeah. you know, and, and I think it's brilliant. Now tell me, if you have to make a cocktail that represents me, what 
and what <laughs> would you add in it? Hmm. So I know you don't like alcohol. Yeah, but it's okay. <laughs> okay. Others like me. Yeah, others People like who like me might like it. Hmm. Maybe a strong, stiff drink. What are the other things you put? I want it to be interesting. I want it to be colorful, fabulous yeah, looking. Yeah, I know. You like, you want it colorful. Yeah, like, like sparkles always, coming out. Yeah, and like, but that's just, that's, okay. We're just going to give a stiff drink. Yeah, those are nice ones. They're like At least straight up drinks. Stiff. Like martinis. Hmm. Oh, you might like a Bloody Mary. Those I've seen. No, man, oh, I so don't. those are the classics. I want some interesting one. Can you come up with something and make okay. for me? Okay, I'll think of something. <laughs> I can't be even inspiring for someone to make a cocktail. How sad let's is that? see, let's yeah, see. Yeah, think Listen. of something, okay? Yeah, uh, thank you so very much. Uh, you look fabulous and you spoke so well. I'm so happy that uh, I always like when personalities are made and created because there are people for, you, for us to talk to and come to know their stories. And sometimes you never need to plan what takes you. Exactly. It just happens. It, and the path if it's meant to opens. be. Yeah. It's meant to be. It'll that happen for you. That is true. I and I hope before that. you write the book, you'll come through that. Oh, come yes. Through to, I need to do the book, yeah, right? Come through, <laughs> come through with a cocktail menu that I can. Maybe you can do a forward. Yeah, true. But I want that. <laughs> okay, I, okay. I Danu's want my cocktail. first cocktail recipe should be Danu. Okay. Right? Let me, let me. Because I gave the idea. No, no. Okay. All right, on that note, we need to wrap things up. Thank you for being on the show. Thank you uh, for having me, Dano. No worries. Thank you to everyone and who is... And the team. Your team is brilliant. I told him yes. that as well. And we have this one girl who works in our team. We are so gender uh, balanced. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. And and she's... And yeah, she's, uh, she, she's a heavy drinker, I think. Uh, but <laughs> anyway, yeah. uh, anyway, that's great that she enjoyed most of this shoot. I don't think I can even find her now. She's somewhere. fallen somewhere down the stairs. <laughs> Oh, she's there. <laughs> uh, on the note, we need to wrap things up. Thank you to Love Bar and to Kamimaki yes. for helping us do the show. We'll see you soon. Till then, keep smiling. It's all right.